Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Now today's video we're going to be doing a one brand makeup tutorial. All MAC Cosmetics Hot Look products that you can find on Hot Look. I'm actually partnering up with Hot Look for this video. You can find them through Nordstrom Rack. And if you don't know, it's basically where you're going to discover like tons of top fashion and lifestyle brands at amazing savings. A really cool fact about them, what they do is each day at 8 a.m. PDT, so that's Pacific Daylight Time, they feature new flash sale events from the best names in fashion, women's and men's fashion, accessories, beauties, kids, home decor, all up to 75% off. So major savings every single day. And keep your eyes peeled throughout the video because if you like any of the products I'm using, a lot of them are on Hot Look. And they're actually having a MAC Cosmetics flash sale August 18th, 2017 at 8 a.m. PDT. It'll run for three days and it includes lipsticks, eyeshadows, concealers, and more. And it's all going to be up to 50% off. So make sure you put it in your calendars and take advantage of that flash event because Beauty on a budget, people. Beauty on a budget. I'll have all the information in the description if you guys want to go check that out. Anyways, if you want to know how to get this look right here, I tried to do a beautiful purpley smoky eye, get that flawless skin look and the ultimate lip, then just keep on watching. But if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button before you forget. I drop two videos a week. You don't want to miss out. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm going to start out with priming my lids as always. I've already done my brows just to save time. So I'm gonna play with color today. I'm gonna be using a Max Purple Times Nine palette. There's nine purple hues, so obviously you have like an endless amount of combinations that you can do. There's also like a range of different textures in the palette. So there's matte, satin, frost. So you really have all you need to create a ton of different looks from day to night. You can really do a lot with this guy. Even though it's small, it's small but mighty. So I'm gonna start with this shimmery light shade called Sweet Lust in the corner here. I'm just gonna use that to highlight my inner corner. Now I'm just gonna use a really soft neutral color for my transition shade. You can use any soft neutral color of your choice. It'll just help blend out those purples later on. So just applying that right above my crease. I'm using this little cardboard card here to keep a nice straight line to make sure our shadow doesn't droop down. You could always clean it up with like concealer or foundation afterwards, but I find this kind of just skips a step and I don't really mind holding it like this. If you find it's a little too difficult to do both at once, then you could just clean it up afterwards. When you first place down your brush, it should always be in a spot where where you want the most shadow and then work from there as kind of a starting point, blending the shadow out with whatever's left over on the brush so then it's not too intense and it'll just leave you with a nice soft blended color. And now I'm gonna put in a crease color. I'm gonna mix this shade a little bit with that shade. I don't want it too light, but I also don't want it super, super dark. And that is gonna go right into the crease, but making sure not to blend up too far because we don't wanna cover up that transition shade. I'm gonna also bring that shadow down to the outer corner here. These shadows are so pigmented and they just go on so smooth. It makes it so easy to apply them really evenly and blend it out really well. Now I'm going in with Man Catcher. How funny is that name, by the way? I'm gonna run that right along my crease, but not going any higher than my crease. And I'm gonna really pack it on, on like the center of my lid where I want the most color payoff. Be really light-handed, you know, and just go back and forth until it's blended. Now I'm gonna go into this really, really deep purple shade right here. I'm gonna mix a little bit of it with the one on the bottom just for the outer part here to give a little bit more dimension and just intensify this outer part. So I'm gonna be using the Black Brilliance Fluid Line Eyeliner Pen. I'm just gonna line my upper lashes because later when we go in with false lashes, this is gonna help to conceal the band and it's just gonna help to define our eyes overall. Guys, I swear this is a liquid liner in pencil form. It's just so high coverage and the formula is like super soft. It just glides right on their lids. I really like this liner. Now for mascara, I'm gonna use their Zoom Fast Black Lash. This is supposed to give you really dramatic lashes. It give you a lot of volume and length and actually curl your lashes and the curl is meant to last all day. You can see my lashes are getting so much longer. Whoa. My lashes already look so dramatic, but we're gonna go in with false lashes now. I'm gonna go ahead and apply those and I'll be right back. Moving on to face makeup, I'm gonna prime my face. Now time for foundation. So 
I definitely forgot to hit the record button and I'm in the middle of doing my concealer. And I was saying that I really like to bring my concealer right up to the bridge of my nose here. It kind of helps to snatch your nose, make it look a little bit more narrow and smaller. So if you're into that, try that technique out because it definitely helps. Concealer just makes my life complete. I feel like my makeup look looks so much better right after I do concealer. It's like trying on really nice clothes without your hair and makeup done, you know? The clothes are still nice, but you can't really see the overall vision. You know, the eyes can look amazing, but the skin is what's gonna make me see it. Now I'm gonna use the Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation Powder. So this really gives a smooth, flawless finish, which is why I like to use it on my under eye. It's gonna help conceal any bags and just really make it like super smooth and super flawless. It's a one-step powder and can be used as a foundation as well because it's so full coverage. If you just wanna dust it all over your face real quick, it'll give you a little something something to even out your skin tone. It's a matte texture. It's like medium to full coverage depending on how much you build it. And I just love the way it makes my under eyes look and you guys already know that I like to use it on the texture on my forehead because it helps to smooth it out and kind of give me a nice layer of powder that's gonna hide that bumpiness and that texture there. So this powder is like a holy grail for me. So I'm just bronzing up, you know, putting it in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm gonna run that just along my nose and contour my nose a little bit. And then I'll usually just go over it with whatever's left over on my face powder brush just to make sure that it's all blended in really nicely and it softens it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna be using one of my favorite blushes of all time. It's MAC's Pro Longwear Blush in Blush All Day. So the powder is super, super fine, really silky. It just glides right on and it's blending so easily. You see into the bronzer as well. It's so easy to blend. And it's pigmented enough, but it builds really softly to create that really natural kind of finish. It doesn't fade in it lasts like all day. Now I'm just gonna apply some highlighter. You can tell that this one is well loved. So now my face makeup is done. Let's go back to the eyes and finish up the under eyes. I'm going in with this purpley shade right there first and I'm going to smoke out that lower lash line. Mostly focusing like the darker colors on the outer corner here to help keep my eye almond shaped and more open. Now I'm mixing the two darkest matte shades on a really tiny detailing brush and I'm gonna run that right along my lower lash line really tight to my lashes. And I'm only keeping that on the very outer corner part of my lower lash line. All right, so eyes are completely done. Let's move on to the last step, lips. So I'm gonna use the shade Promise Me in their Velvetees Lip Pencil. It's a matte formula. It's really, really rich in color. You can see it's super pigmented. It goes on really easily and gives you a nice clean finish. It's got a vivid color like a lipstick would, but it's a pencil and you don't have to sharpen it. It's one that you just twist up. So that's really convenient. I always thought these were really nice to just have in your kit if you're a freelance makeup artist to use on clients and stuff because they're so compact and really, really cute. Since it is so nude and kind of flesh toned, I don't want it to wash me out too much. I'm gonna use a nude lip pencil and just run that along my lip line. To top it off, I'm gonna use their Mineralized Glass in the shade Modest. So it says that this formula is enhanced with a 77 Mineral Moisture Complex. So it leaves your lips like super supple, really, really soft, but still provides you with like a really luminous high shine. Mineral lip glosses like don't feel really heavy or goopy. It feels really lightweight. I'm gonna finish up by setting my face. Help all the powders melt together. There we go. So that is the entire makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys tag me on my socials if you recreate this look. I love to see you guys recreating the makeup looks that I come up with. And don't forget to check out Hot Look. I will leave the link in the description so you can be prepared for that MAC Cosmetics flash sale event on August the 18th. And that's it for today's video. If you missed my last upload, you know the drill. Just click the box down below and watch it. And if you're not yet subscribed, you have one last chance to click my face in the corner of the screen and you will be subscribed. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.